Mathematics is the music of reason. A mathematician's reputation rests on the number of bad proofs he has given. The mathematics may be defined as the subject in which we never know what we are talking about nor whether what we are saying is true. The object of pure physics is the unfolding of the laws of the intelligible world, the object of pure mathematics, that of unfolding the laws of human intelligence. The great questions of the day will not be settled by means of speeches and majority decisions, but by iron and blood. In mathematics, the art of proposing a question must be held of higher value than solving it. A mathematician, like a painter or poet, is a maker of patterns. I have always fancied that the end of the world will be when some enormous boiler heated to three thousand millions of atmospheric pressure shall explode and blow up the globe. That will be a beautiful and dramatic catastrophe, at least. It is the unattainable and the unattained that excite our deepest wanderings and give rise to our loftiest aspiration. A creative mathematician is in the same category as a creative artist. He has to be born and, in the most important sense, made. Mathematics is the science of the logical consequences which necessarily result from the elementary conceptions of number and space. The scientist, if he is, to be more than a plotting gatherer of bits of information, needs to exercise an active imagination. He must always be on the lookout for the unexpected, the undreamed of. Mathematics is as old as man. The ideas themselves are often much older. In mathematics, as in life, the best stories are about and likely heroes. The world of pure mathematics is a world of perfect abstractions without reference to reality. I, of course, believe implicitly in the reality of individuality and freedom of will. I am convinced that God does not play dice. The art of drawing, conclusions from experiments and observations consists in evaluating probabilities and in estimating whether they are sufficiently great or numerous to constitute proofs. The human mind is distinguished by its habit of forming general conceptions, drawing associations, and giving names to things. These quotes reflect Sylvester's deep appreciation for mathematics, his philosophical outlook on the subject, and his insights into the nature of mathematical inquiry.